just come over later. We can finally finish that movie. James, you're kidding, right? No. I thought it was getting pretty good until the UPS guy showed up, you know? Yeah, I know. You were having a little bit too much fun. Maybe some other night. I could work tonight. Hey, Michael. Hey, Steph. Something wrong with her? Yeah, there's a lot of things wrong with her. She's mad at me about last night. Whoa, Sophia, what's wrong? Hey, Jess. Let me guess. James did something stupid again, didn't he? What did he do this time? I don't think I want to tell you about this one. You're not going to like it. Okay, well, now I need to know. What did he do? You're not going to believe the stunt she pulled on me last night. What? Well, I invited her over to hang out and watch some movies. Are we the only ones here? Yeah, my parents are in Florida right now. Oh, really? I like the sounds of that. Come on. She said that? Yeah, so I'm thinking tonight's the night that we're finally gonna do it. So his parents weren't home? Yeah, they're gone a lot. And your mom's okay with that? She doesn't need to know. I can handle myself. Did he try something? Well, we were sitting on the couch watching a movie. Then she just snuggled up to me. He started scratching my back, which I like. And then she just looked up at me and started kissing me. And I like getting him all turned on. It's like he can't even help himself. Then we laid down on the couch and started making out. This is where it got a little weird. He kept trying to touch me and I didn't like it. I don't know what happened. She just shut down on me. Did she tell you to stop? Well, yeah, but I knew she didn't mean it. He would stop for a little while, but then he just kept trying a couple minutes later. She just likes playing hard to get. I knew all I needed was a few more minutes and she'd finally give in. Then this stupid doorbell rang. It scared me. I jumped up and ran to the bathroom. It was just the UPS man. Then she was in the bathroom forever. I just needed a couple minutes to figure out what to do. I knew he wanted to have sex. I could just tell. But I didn't want to, and I didn't know how to tell him. I sat there and I was like, well, this is killing the mood. Then she finally came out and said, I think I want to go home. Really? Things were just getting good. I have some homework I have to finish for tomorrow. Oh, come on, really? I was getting pretty frustrated by this point. You're gonna get me all turned on and then just leave? I was putting my shoes on by the door, and then he came up and started kissing me. I was like, this was my last chance. I can't let her get away like this. James, listen, just take me home. Oh, come on. I just really want you to. James, stop. Just take me home. Come on, Sophia. It'll be so James, good. James, stop. Just stop. Take me home. Well, what happened? I took her home. Stupid, isn't it? If you're gonna lead me on like that, at least give me a piece. Know what I mean? He's all mad at me today. He keeps blaming me, saying that I let him on. Well, sounds like you kinda did. I mean, you said it yourself. You like getting him all turned on. It's like he can't even help himself. If you didn't wanna have sex or even have him fill you up a little bit, you probably shouldn't have pushed his buttons like that. <laughs> oh, you're right. But what about him? Dude, I like the girl. But at some point, she's gonna have to start putting out. If you like her so much, why don't you keep pressuring her? You're kidding, right? I didn't pressure her to do anything. She's the one that started kissing me. Yeah, but then she shut down on the couch and hid in the bathroom. And when she came out, she told you to take her home. You're joking, right? Look, man, I know she was sending you mixed signals, but if a girl tells you to stop, you better stop. You know what I mean? So why didn't you just tell him that you didn't want to have sex or that you didn't want him touching you? I couldn't. I mean, that would just be weird to talk about. I don't know. I think it's good to have those kind of boundaries. That way you guys at least know when you're crossing the line. Yeah, I guess. Boundaries are really important. Me and my girlfriend have decided not to have sex until marriage. Really? Why not? Well, we both have our own reasons. I personally would love to have kids someday, just not while in high school or through college. Dude, it's called use a condom. Yeah, condoms reduce the risk, but there's still a risk. And my girlfriend has her own reasons, and I'd like to respect her for it. Well, I guess that's good. This isn't the first time he's crossed the line. Remember when he asked you to send him those pictures, and the last time you guys studied? 
He isn't going to change. You need to break up with him. Oh, but he's really cute and I really like him. But he is kind of a jerk, isn't he? Yeah, he is. All of this setting boundary stuff sounds too much like work to me. Yeah, relationships take work. You're right about one thing. She didn't want to have sex with me, and I shouldn't have pushed her to. This relationship is going nowhere. I'm gonna have to break up with her. I'm gonna have to break up with him. It can be tough confronting a friend about something that you disagree with. You know, you don't want them to get upset at you. But sometimes you just gotta call them out on things, you know? I hope Sophia finds a really great guy that respects her and her decisions about sex. Relationships take work. Me and my girlfriend have experienced that, and I hope that James learns that lesson someday. And I hope that Sophia decides to set healthy boundaries with her next boyfriend, too. I think it's really important. Every time I fall for you, I fall even closer.